Thank you, Outlander. You saved me the trouble of hunting you down. I take it you're king of the crazy people? Blatant disrespect in our house of worship. You only make it easier for us to do what must be done. You cannot be allowed to remain in the old world. Your presence threatens the order we have fought to maintain. And you've done a good job from all I've seen. Goth Bortena, former naval officer, former local. Spent a lot of my youth in the old world. Hand to mouth was a real mess back then. You got a great deal with Arkin, but he could pull the plug on it at any second for any reason. What if he couldn't? How do you mean? When the Outlander and I pull Arkin from the throne, you won't have to answer to him anymore. All we need is to meet with the Lady of Sorrow, so we can convince her to come with us. I bet you can make that meeting happen. You want to supplant Valkorion's brat and take my greatest adversary out of the old world? Sounds fantastic. But how do the two of you intend to dethrone Arkin? You really need us to spell it out for you? If you think you can defeat him, I have no qualms. Arkin gave us power, then implemented so many restrictions that we are in many ways powerless. And he has sapped the very spirit from Zakul. Most don't even realize. But his undoing, it cannot be at your hands. Why not? Valkorion's fall, Arkin's rise, it all conforms to prophecy. You do not. Only when the prophecy is realized will our great serpent return to cleanse a cool and fiery death. You cannot be allowed to succeed. Thought we were getting along. On my mark! Exalted. Busy. The Lady of Sorrow demands your attention now. I've seen one like that before, back in your part of the galaxy. Your grip on the old world has become a stranglehold. You continue to act counter to the Lady's interests, most recently with the murder of our contractor, Mona Gale. This can wait. I have company. The Lady has decided to renegotiate the terms of your agreement. We made a deal! And now, you will agree to a new deal. Father! Brennan! Release him at once! Come to the Razor. You and the Lady can discuss your son's future. And you! The Lady would like to speak with you as well. I know why I want to see her, but what does she want from me? The Lady of Sorrows is fully aware of who you are, Outlander. And now she also knows what you're after. She would like me to assure you it's not a trap, and that I'm unharmed. So that's that. Under no circumstances are you to kill the Outlander. Understood? Understood. Kill the Outlander. You're unworthy of the Dragon's Fire! You're unworthy of the Dragon's Fire! Bet you anything I can outrace you. 